I believe closer to Noala also eventually won um, that race not too long. Um, I mean, people are talking about, about the fact that getting to race, uh, clo getting closer to somebody who eventually, I mean, uh, was the uh, champion in that event, it, got, it, it, it took a toll on his mind. I don't know what you have to say to that. I mean, as a matter this is the second Olympics. He's been in the stage before. It's not the first time. And you remember coming into the evening African Games, he had, uh, was recovering from injury and he had to quickly recover and uh, obviously give himself some time and then race. So I wouldn't, you know, give excuse as the fact that um, he, he was coming out of, um, you know, injury or something. But the fact is, if you look at his form and the time he made prior to this competition, you can clearly see the difference between himself and those that he ran with. And I'm not too sure that he had any um, nervous situation or he was feeling a, a little bit uh, jittery because of the people he had met. He knew them already. He's met them back in the States. He's run with them in different competitions. So yeah. he was coming to this competition not really bothered or um, afraid of the, yeah. uh, the squad that he, he, he's met. So if, if you tell me about um, his demeanor, I'll tell you that he was pretty much confident. But the, yeah. the fact is, these, these are um, very tough times. Uh, you're coming to the Olympic Games. Like I said, you are going to meet people who've met better times than you. And you have to prove why you, sh you, you should beat them and be in the finals of it. And I think Azamati endeared himself. And we have to uh, give him credit for that. All right. Well, what, what do you think this will event will do for Azamati and Saminu? And because, of course, they, they have a final event to take care of. That's the 4 by 100 meter relay. Uh, this Thursday, what do you think this will do for them? Well, I think the the issue basically is has to do with the fact that one before coming into this competition, um, Samini was one of the fastest athletes in the Ghanaian team with ten point zero two, and so obviously he's he's was top ranked or top rated as the Mati was is called top rated uh, by World Athletics. Now the four by hundred meters team is also well uh, top rated um, at, at seventh. Um, in the world as well. So they their performance in Bahamas, that as well has catapulted them to the semifinals. So they're starting straight from semifinals, like the other 16 countries that are here for the 4 by 100 So basically, I'll say that uh, it's, it's um, a morale boosting performance. I, I've heard uh, Samino saying that Ghanaians should expect an explosive run from the 4 by 100 meters team in the uh, semifinals. So I'm looking forward to see uh, what they, they'll be able to produce uh, for Ghana. So let us just um, support them as we've been doing. And... I mean, there's a talk about, you know, Samino also beating uh, Omanyala, the Africa's fastest man at the Olympics. So clearly, it's, it's a motivation to him. Mm, that's